Um, pretty much everything we've seen, you know, all summer, all fall, just a lot of energy, um, great effort. Uh, I think our, our five returners have done a really good job of kind of, you know, leading and teaching the, the new group um, what's expected. Um, and with that being said, the new group has just bought into to the culture we're trying to build, um, you know, playing hard every possession and just being tough to beat. Um, so far, it doesn't look always pretty, um, but we're not having to coach effort. We haven't had to coach any of that. Um, we've just been able to coach a lot of basketball. So excited to keep them on the court a little bit longer um, than we have been, and uh, we'll see how their bodies hold up. What was your focus this summer with them and then the carryover into yeah. when you actually start to you know, the official practices. Yeah, um, a lot of this summer was, was really skill development for our young kids, trying to teach them the, the pace of play and, and, you know, and what's expected and how hard you got to work every single day. Um, and then a lot, of the, a lot of stuff on the offensive end as a team. Uh, we actually didn't touch defense until the fall. And that's very not like me. Um, normally we kind of let our, our offense try to, to evolve as the season goes on, but, um, you know, just looking at numbers, we've been pretty solid defensively. Uh, we just can't score the basketball. And so that's kind of where we shifted our focus to this summer. Um, I don't know if we can score it yet. We, I know we can't guard anybody <laughs> yet, but uh, um, we'll get there. Hey, Katie, when you first came in, like any new coach, you had what was the, <clears throat> what the coach had. Now you're getting some more of your own players. Mm -hmm. and how, how important is that to, to you as a coach now in your third year to have your own players on the floor? You know, I think, you know, first and foremost, I can go back and the, the, the kids that I coached, you know, in year one and year two, just the ones that really bought into to what we were trying to build. Um, you know, I think it says a lot about the five we have. And, and even last year, too, they, they just bought in. And, you know, our, our, the core that's back. Um, but Caitlin have been with me, you know, since year one. And um, so those four have, have bought in. And, and just a, a really fun group to to have lead our program. Um, for me, really, on roster, it's it, Madison and Jayla are the only two that, that didn't come to play for me. Um, and those are two Indiana kids that I've known for a long time. So I feel really, really you good, Mila. <laughs> <laughs> feel really, really comfortable with our group. Um, the best thing about, you know, one through 13 on our team right now is that they love Purdue and they bleed black and gold. How much are you going to lean on some of the freshmen this year? Well, we've got five returners. 200 minutes in a ball game, um, I would say quite a bit. I mean, what, what do you need out of your freshman class this year? Um, the same thing they've been giving us. You know, you walk around campus and every, you know, every life that they've touched or worked with um, that they've been here, they, you know, they've, they've got a good reputation. They're, they're on study tables on time. They're you know, no problems in the classroom so far. They work their tail off for Chaz. They, Great with the new, you know, with our dietitian and in the in the in the training room. So everything we thought they were is exactly who they have been for us. Um, on the court, just you know, trusting it and you know, trusting the process. It's um, I think we last week we kind of started to dabble in some defensive stuff, and I think their heads kind of spinning a little bit just with how fast it's got to go. But you know, I promise them we'll never put them in a position to fail um, and, and trust it. And uh, I think, I mean, I think the. The community here, the university will, will love this group. And I think it just goes down to, you know, goes back to they want Purdue to win and they, they, they bleed black and gold. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. How many sets of sisters have you had to coach in the past? I, I don't think I've ever had a set of sisters and I've got three. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either really, really good or really, really dumb. I don't know. So far, so far it's been great. First names on everybody then? Um, how do you keep them straight? Yeah, everybody has a first name. We don't call anybody by their last name around here. If they get a full name, then they know they're in trouble. <laughs> Katie Mary actually talked about just how she didn't feel like you were, um, I guess, putting a sales pitch on her so much as much as being real and just being yourself. And then JT kind of talked about, you know, who you are in front of the cameras, who you are in the locker room, uh, just kind of Giving that real persona 24 hours a day, I guess that's the only way you know how to do things, but how much does that translate to these, these girls buying in? Yeah, I, you know, I, it's not, I mean, what you see is what you get. Like, that's, that's exactly who I am in the recruiting world. It's exactly who I am on the court. Um, every once in a while, we get into them a little bit more. Um, but, you know, I think that's what life is about, really, and especially coaching in this day, like, being real and being genuine. Um, 
coaching is pure relationships. Everybody, you know, the X's and O's, and everybody knows the game at this level. But if you can have really real, intimate relationships, you know, with your with your team, and your your team buys into to everything you're saying. Um, you know, they they know that I'm going to ask them to run through a brick wall, but I'm running it. I'm running right right through there with them. Uh, maybe not as fast. Or I was never really fast, but uh, but I'm right there with them every step every step of the way. And uh, I mean, that's that's what it's all about. I mean, I you know I go to weddings of former players, and they call me when they have you know the birth of their children. That's what that's what this job is all about. Who's your surprise player this year? Hmm. I think that's I think that's up for debate. I think there's there's a lot of people who could probably surprise. Um, in in the five that we have back, you know, we talked about it last year. We really need Jayla Smith to take a big step. Um, just losing Laisha to you know to graduation and um, the the what Laisha gave us offensively. Um, you know, we need, we need Jayla to take a, a bigger step. Hey, Katie, when the crowd came last year, it seemed like there was a few more people during the season mm -hmm. than it has been in the past at Purdue, How, especially the Indiana crowd. Mm -hmm. it's completely full. How important is it for you now that this team had the community buy in to Purdue basketball again? Yeah, I think that that comes back to us. Like, we've got to win. People want to support winners. Um, you know, they, there's a reason why, you know, it's sold out every game for, for Dave and Matt right now. You know, the, those, those groups win. Um, so we've got to we've got to put a, a winning product on the floor. Um, I think we've started to take those steps. What's up, Tan? Uh, we started to take those steps because we're. I think we, you know, we play hard and we're fun to watch. Um, but the next step is us winning all those games. Um, you know, if we got a couple good solid home games in conference play, obviously. Um, and having Kate and Clark in here, you know, that helps. Yeah, the crowd. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's she's done a lot for our game, obviously. Um, but we've we've got to find a way to start winning those games. Um, I think that's why you look at our non-conference schedule. I don't know what is it, Ian? Four of the first five are, are power fives, and you know we talk about where we want to take P Purdue and where where we want the program to go. We can't just talk about it and not do anything about it. So here we are, and uh, November sixth, we'll see what's all about. But I just seem to think you have a swagger about you. So Me? Yes. Where does think that, or they know. Well, <laughs> maybe they know. And, uh, but either way, just kind of where does that, that confidence come from where, you know, you, you look the part when you go out there? Yeah, I, well, I think, I mean, that's just really who I am. Um, comfortable in my own skin. Um, you know, I always felt like, you know, even though I didn't say it a lot when I played, I always felt like I felt like I was the best player on the floor um, when I played here. Um, I know I'm not the best coach, um, but I have a confidence about what I'm doing and um, how how we can lead our team. Um, you know, I just I don't know if, you, if you're gonna do something like just step up and own it. If you don't, you just pretend and fake it until you figure it out, and that's really what it's about, I guess. But they should know I have that swagger.